people! I'm Ginny Metherill, I'm a fourth generation witch and today's video is my almanac series, Witchcraft of the Month and this month of course is October. Now everyone thinks about October and thinks Halloween but there's so much going on apart from Halloween in October that I need to make two videos. One for Halloween itself as a separate video, not this one. This video is all about everyday witchcraft that you can use in the month of October. October is the heart of autumn. I took John to school this morning and the mists were coming down and I could see the spider's webs holding the dew. It's that time of year when apples on the trees are coming to ripeness and fruition. And the apple is a hugely symbolic, ritualistic and magical fruit. One of the most magical fruits. In fact, almost in every culture, the apple has some magical connotations. The apple tree was considered a sacred tree by the Druids, but to be fair, they had quite a lot of sacred trees, but the apple was one of the main ones. October has two full moons, which makes it a moon month. And so with the advent of the apple, this sacred fruit, and the two full moons of the month, the witchcraft in October is going to be very concerned with apples and the moon. So let's start with the 1st of October, which is the first full moon of the month. This is the harvest moon. Traditionally, it was always the largest moon of the season and might have had a red, orange, tingy glow. It was welcomed by the ancients because the moon meant it would light the night so that they could get the harvest in. So it was a very rejoicing and thankful moon. The first of October full moon rises in the constellation Aries, which has a warrior quality for it. So this is more protection of the family, you know, defending, protecting your family and home. And so one of the best spells that I thought we could do to start with is a house, family and home protection spell. And it's so easy. So on the night of October the 1st, simply take yourself a bowl. Traditionally it's a copper bowl, but I've got a brass one. Place in it a quartz crystal. Now I've got two quartz crystals, which I use in varying spells, so I'm going to put both of them in. But if you've only got one, that's fine. If you've got five, put those in. However many you feel. The quartz crystal is particularly loved by the moon. It's a blessed stone of the moon. It has a great affinity with it, which is why we're using the quartz. Cover the quartz crystals with some spring water and then float some small white petals or flowers, whatever you can find that's out at the moment on top of the water. And now, there is a lot of trees out at the moment that is also have great affinity to the moon and it's really good to use them in a spell where you're asking the moon for help. So I went out and found some hazel, which is beloved by the moon. Hazel is, of course, the tree that bears the hazelnut and it has these big round leaves with these toothy edges and they make a lovely little twig. You just need anything. Ask the tree at the time, can I have one of your twigs, please? This twig that you are going to use it as your wand. Take your bowl and place it overnight on a windowsill so that the moon's light, whenever it appears, can get to the bowl. So using your wand, put your intent into the spell and ask the moon to put her strength and love into the bowl. In the morning, you will have some very, very well charged moon water, but this is a particularly special moon water. Take your bowl with the water in it and sprinkle it around your boundary or room or home or even around yourself. And this will give you a really deep protective spell. If you can't do it on the 1st of October, another great day to do it is on a Monday because that is moon day. And in October, these times change by the way, but in October, if you don't do it on a full moon night or the new moon night or whatever night that you, know, you can't get to it, the best time to do it is on a Monday and it's either an hour after sunrise or three hours after sunset. This is a very traditional old witchy ways where you choose the time and the place to give you the greatest power and efficacy for your spell. With the advent of the full moon on the first, the traditionally the largest moon of the year, it's a very good time between the full moon and the new moon, so when the moon is waning, to do banishment spells. For example, if you wanted to give up smoking, now is the time to do a give up smoking spell. If you want a banishment spell, do let me know in the comments below and I'll give you one. So as I've mentioned, apples are very much part of the October culture and throughout the history, apples have been seen as tokens of divination, good luck, food for the dead, but 
will go into that in my Halloween video, and varying other portents of the world to come. One of the easiest ways to celebrate this traditional time for the apple is to pick the finest apple that you can from the tree. And if you can't pick one from the tree, then pick one from the supermarket. Wash and polish it and give it to your friend or loved one. And that is a really sweet and simple good luck charm for them. Make sure they eat it, obviously. And if they can, but they don't have to, bury the core. It's always good to bury your apple cores. It has always been traditional that apples should be harvested before the 31st of October because any apples left unharvested and unpicked by them belong to the nature spirits and they jealously guard those apples. However, if you miss the full moon, another great thing to do with an apple is to take your apple and to peel it, keeping the peel in as one long strip. And once you've peeled your apple, hold the peel in your right hand then turn round three times and chuck the peel over your left shoulder. Look at the peel as it falls on the floor and it should show you a letter. And this letter will be the first name of your one true love. It's a fun piece of divination. I'm not sure whether this one technically works. However, it might do, you never know. Now the 1st of October is also the Japanese festival, not that this is massively traditional English witchery, but it's a Japanese festival of Chung Chu, which is the rabbit or hare in the moon festival. The festival of Chung Chu is the celebration of the moon's birthday and how the rabbit came to be in the moon. They make cakes and these lovely little mood cakes filled with savoury and sweet fillings are given out to friends and family and they've been blessed by the moon when they were made and so they therefore give the moon strength and good luck. It's absolutely an enchanting ritual for you to do. Make some cupcakes, decorate them with the moon or a rabbit or however you like actually. I'm not very good at moons or rabbits and decorating of cakes. Maybe there's another YouTube video out there. Cider making happens in October and this is a really great and wonderful libation for the moon. It's very simple, on the night of the new moon, which this month falls on the 16th of October, take out two mugs or glasses of cider, ask the moon to bless them, pour one of those mugs onto the earth for the moon and drink the other. There is not a single culture in this world that hasn't made libation to the gods at some point. It's a very old fashioned and traditional way to thank them for their help or ask them for their help. Apart from the fact that you get to drink a nice drop of cider and I do like a cider, delicious. Likewise, should you be feeling the pinch this month and feeling a little bit more cash would be helpful, a new moon money spell could be the thing to do. It's a very simple spell, as most of my spells are. Simply gather as many coins or notes, or whatever you've got as you can. Resist the urge to count the money because that will limit the amount of cash that you get. Take your coins and leave them on a windowsill for the moonlight to bathe on the night of the new moon. You ask the moon before you go to bed and say this spell. Oh beautiful moon, please radiate wealth into my life with your light and then by the 31st of October, which is the next full moon, you should find you're a little bit richer than you were before. Try not to put a limit in your mind of what you want or what you're looking for, just let it flow. Apples not only are the food of the dead, more about that in my Halloween video, but also the food of love. And they can really help in a cracked or bitter relationship. And this is an old Romany spell, which I have used before to great effect. And so I'm going to give it to you as my last spell for this video, because it involves the apple and the moon. Firstly, cut out a heart from a piece of paper. And on each side of the heart, write the full name of the couple that you intend the spell to be used for. Fold the heart over, then take your apple. Find the prettiest apple that you can and cut it straight down the middle noting whether the seeds are chopped at the time. If they are, this just means that your spell is gonna be working harder because it shows that the relationship is cracked more. Take your piece of paper and place it between both halves of the apple and then skewer the apple together. Ask the moon to bless the apple with its light and love in order to heal and mend and bring reconciliation and love between the couple.
This apple went on a baking tray and I put it into a preheated oven at 180 degrees for 35 minutes. Now this spell needs to be carried out on the night of the new moon, so the 16th of October, because the new moon will wax into the full moon and the spell will get stronger and stronger. You can watch the reconciliation and love develop between the couple up to the 31st of October. I use this spell on myself actually when my husband and I were going through a pretty rough patch, as all couples do. And now, of course, we are devoted to each other. Well, I hope I am. Well, I think, he, I think he's quite nice and I'm slightly hoping that he puts up with me. So I will put a playlist up here for my other Almanac series videos. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and any problems, write in the comments below and I promise you I'll get back to you. In the meantime, I'll see you in my next video.